Welcome back to Solar Motion VFX for this tutorial with Mulbus Animal Controller and of course Emerald AI 2024. So a lot of people are requesting this one. So let's just get into it. Right now you see I'm just using the controller from the animal controller here and this is the default player, uh, the cowboy. And then uh, we have a Emerald AI agent walking around and it's a golem I'm using. So as you can see these are the default components I've set them up. I just set them up as a, a melee. If we go into the combat you can see I have two attack. One is uh, the uh, spike, one is the spike barrage aerial damage and the other one is just a melee attack here. Okay and set them to random. So first of all we want this guy to detect us. Okay so go into the detection and make sure that under the detection layer our player is tag of it has the layer of animal so choose animal so now you can see animal is also there and if we choose our player this is our player called rider animal control combat he has tag animal and layer animal okay so go back to our golem here so that was the tags and layers then in short to we'll go down to the faction i've set up a faction for himself called golem i've also ensure that we need an enemy faction here called animal okay so with these two on right now let's see if we can detect him yes so he's following me so he's definitely detecting me right now and he's also attacking me that's pretty cool okay so go down to his hand and for his hand here we want to Add an attack trigger component. This is Melba's uh, animal controller component. This is the easiest one to add a damage to our player. And we also want to add a, so we say a box collider here. We can add this box collider up here, like so. Let's also maybe adjust it a little bit. So we have this on his hand right now. And uh, we're gonna enable it here. And then active checkbox, enable that checkbox as well. And then for the hit layer, if you check that and go to the project, make your own hit layer. So just duplicate a hit layer and call it a hit player. So duplicate this hit layer and call it hit player and drag this hit player up here. And if you're going to open this scriptable here, you'll actually see that uh, in this value here, this layer mask, we need to ensure that we have our player. Our player is animal. If you have a player tag or player layer, sorry, then you can just add it here. But I'm using animal, so I have these, these ones on. And because it's a golem, I actually don't need this one on. Okay, so go back to his hand. So that was the hit layers. Now for the damage. Let's say 50 and 50, then it makes a static value. So this is the health component that's going to be subtracted from our player. Extras, I'm just going to say one here, one here. We don't need that amount of force here and nothing on the events. Now I don't want the box collider to be enabled all the time, so I created a script. I created this script here, enable a golem hitbox, and if we just drag that in, like so, and it's a pretty simple script. I'm just referencing my box collider. This is my two public voice where I go in and enable and disable my hitboxes. And you can of course also use the animation view, so that's pretty cool. But I'm just using animation event. So if we look at my animation here, yeah, I have these two. For the golem, I take attack and attack. If we look at the edit part, go to events, you can see right here. I have golem attack and this one golem attack no. So these two are my animation viewers, which I'm referring to these two here. Okay, so those will enable and disable the colliders. If we take a quick look, let's see if my player can take damage now from his hand. Yes, definitely. I'm taking damage and I got killed right away. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and then the game will restart. Now if we look at his uh, if we look at his other attack, the spike here, I also made a duplicate of that in the spike here. I said uh, I was going to look at the projectile. And this is the spike component. 
the prefab which is come in with the Emerald AI. I'll go in and open this. So for this spike here, I also added a box collider around the spike here and again the trigger here. Okay, and just the same as before, I added in the hit layer, hit player. So we know that it's gonna hit my uh, animal, but just make sure you have the right land there. The damage part here, I just said that to 10 10 and nothing really exciting with the other parts. So let's try this out. Let's see, now it's doing it. Yes, I got hit by the spikes and I got damage. Let's see one more time. Yes, it definitely works. Pretty cool. Now we want to be able to damage the AI. So for every AI, no matter which AI solution you have, you always have to add it at this uh, damage component and it will add a stat and a damageable. So the stat is the health. Right now it's uh, 100 and it's also 100 on the on the Emerald AI is healthier. So they are linked up here. So 100, 100. And of course, uh, there is some events here. You're gonna, you can and will hook up with this as well. And the damageable, that's the one I use to make sure, for example, if I'm shooting with a specific, uh, if I want a specific impact on hit, then I can make a service ID up here. Um, and also I'm using the event for when he receives damage, that's what we want him to play the, that's what we want him to play the damage sequences. Okay, so let's check that up. We need to create a script here, very short again. And I made one called damage damage emerald AI. So if we go in and look at that, so for the so for this one, of course, up the namespace using emerald AI, and then uh, I'm writing a emerald system. I'm fetching it here at start. What I do is I make a public void here and I call it damage emerald, and I make a pass. Uh, then in the parameters, I write a single damage. And this damage value. Well, it's a float value and this will be the damage is going to take from the actual gun okay so whatever damage uh, value you are set on your weapons it will take that automatically from this so you don't have to go in each time and change the value in here and this, this is of course the script which is on the emerald ai documents so instead of uh, writing damage amount here i just change this to damage we will check this damage up here okay leave the transform to this and i don't want a ragdoll effect here so i'll leave it to zero and then I write this important debug lock damage emerald AI and then plus damage. Okay. Then I have uh, another public void here. When they were the, whenever the health is zero, I want just to. Whenever the health is zero, I want him to be killed, of course. And the same thing with the shot. So this is not for this tutorial, but this is just for another animation event I use when I have a shooting AI. Okay. M damageable on the events on the receiving. You're gonna. Add the plus sign here and then put your damage emerald AI up here. And then on the function, go to damage damage emerald AI and hit my damage emerald up in the top here. Okay. That was for the damageable. Then for the stats events, we want him to be killed when health is empty. So that's this one. Again, put this component up here, a script we made. Damage, and then we say kill, like so. Now we have set those two up, now we're going to a gun. So on my player, under my weapon manager, you can see I am starting with a gun, the rifle. And on that rifle, ensure that on that hit layer as well, ensure that you actually can hit the Emerald AI. Okay, and that's a tag of layer of golem. So that I've added that here. And here you can set how much you want to be able to uh, damage. So let's also just keep it at, let's say 25, 25. So four shots, then he'll be killed. So on the golem, remember to enable and show that the box card is on and we don't want it to be a trigger. Then let's test it. Yep, he's taking shots. And there, and one more, one more, and he's dead. Pretty cool. Now, if you notice also the health went down here that's because if you go into the golem right now, everything is linked up to the same UI every time you put in a new uh, damage on these ones, right? So this UF health stat right now is shared with everything. So you have to make your own duplicated, duplicated. And then, for example, the golem here, just 
add that one up here and then for the event go up to the invoke and the same thing here on health full don't use this one use the one for the golem as well and use the M event in invoke that's one so now you see the health code don't go down when you shoot him only your own pretty cool okay so this is an awesome asset guys i can tell you it's pretty extensive a lot of uh, yeah it's a steep learning curve to learn the animal controller there's tons of features in here and it's still keep updating i basically just recently started to use it and yeah i'm just trying to implement it with my blaze ai and emerald ai so a lot of good cool stuff to learn here still guys this is an incredible powerful tool here guys i mean you can set it up so you can ride on your own animal here this is another asset i have with these dragons from an infinity pbr i set it up so i can even fly i mean i just simply love this asset let's go down here the cool thing is while you if i hit my right mouse click he does this kind of attack mode and if i do my lift click then i spit fire out and you can interact with the enemies okay so this is pretty cool guys thank you for watching please subscribe and like see you on the next one bye